Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can work more efficiently with Microsoft Excel and this is just a spreadsheet, I called it word count but there's nothing special about it, right? and as you saw before I'll take the edited version of the uh, first file of the cult corpus the corpus, burden corpus of non teenage language and I'll just copy the content of the file uh, into um, Excel, right? And now we have all the utterances here. And remember that the um, uh, thing here at the beginning indicates the speaker. So he was speaker one, who's Peter. He's male and you no know, teenager. He was speaker two, which is Tom, and so on, right? So you have Peter again and Tom and so on, right? And uh, like we did before, we're going to calculate the word count, but we don't um, necessarily want word count only of a single file, but of many files. And one way to do that very efficiently is to use a macro. Right? A macro is basically um, something which you assign a shortcut to. We'll use Control O or Steuerung O. And whenever you press Control O, it will execute a number of commands which you've defined beforehand but you don't need to know programming basically the only thing what you need is you need to do it manually once record all the um, um, commands you use and then Excel can execute the same um, commands again when you ac execute the macro so the way to do that is you go to Ansicht, go to macros um nope going to uh macro aufzeichnen and we'll call it uh counting words we'll say the shortcut is control or steuerung o will only apply for this spreadsheet and we'll describe what it does so basically it um it counts the words of um, of speakers um, and how to do that is you copy the uh, content of the corpus file into column A and uh, the macro will provide the word count of the speakers in column C. Alright, so this is what the macro will do. Um, once I press OK, Excel will record everything I do. Alright, so be aware of that. So, okay, let's start. First of all, I'm going to go into the first cell here. Then I'm going to highlight everything in column A and copy it into column B. In column A, we'll highlight that again. Then we'll go to Suchen und Ersetzen, Replace. And here I'll say Replace everything that follows a space and the space itself. So now we have the speaker here and we have the content of the uh, turns and utterances here in column B. Okay. Um, now if you watched the previous tutorial on counting words, you know the uh, command for counting words. And I'll just copy it. Uh, no, I can't copy it. I have to basically type it in. So equal then open brackets Länge uh, B1 that's the cell we're interested in uh, equals zero and do nothing which basically says that if uh, you have an empty cell don't do anything right? so it's not really spe spectacular then we say Länge B1 
minus Länge wechseln B1 uh, double quotes and put a space in there semicolon again and now double quotes without um, the space and if you watch the previous tutorial basically what it does is it uh, compares the content of the first uh, cell here in column B to another text that is represented on internally which does not have any spaces right so uh, basically the number of spaces uh, represents the word count of course between two words there's always a space right if you have three words you have two spaces and usually would uh, you would have to add a plus one here but since we left the speaker in right there's an additional space so we don't need to do that execute that so here we have 16 words we'll check that's all right one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we get the exact word count in uh, column C. We'll drag that down to uh, not only the end of that conversation, but we'll take it a lot, make it a lot longer. Let's say to um, row six hundred. Of course, we might have longer conversations later on, right? And the next step, what we're going to do is we'll add all the words, right? For that, I'll just say the first cell in column D is the same value as the first value in column C. That's a little inconvenient, but don't, don't worry about that. And now we'll type in the actual command, which is if that cell is the same as that cell, I want you to add this to the content of that file and if they're not the same as here I want you to start over again right with that um, value in that cell right I'll drag that down to uh, row 600 as well right basically you could uh, just double click on the lower right corner but I'll just want to make sure that you understand that and here I'll type in another command which is basically if that cell is the same as that cell then I want you to uh, write zero in that cell in the E1 cell otherwise a one alright and I'm also going to track that down now first of all you think why do you do that I mean it doesn't really work will work in a second after we've sorted the data and there shouldn't be a problem so now right we don't have a clear structure here but once we highlight these two cells and then say sort and please do that according to uh, the content of uh, column A we now have all the speaker uh, speakers uh, basically uh, all the utterances of speakers below each other. So here is all the uh, here's always indicate that it's speaker one. Here are the word counts for the texts um, or the the utterances that um, are uttered by speaker A. And here basically we have the summation of the utterances, right? So speaker one or speaker A, uh, Peter, um, uses two hundred and forty six words in all alright and here if you look at that command we see that since here we have a change of speakers right um, we get a one here alright so we're almost done but we need to highlight everything then go to um, uh, copy then say Inhalte einfügen Werte and OK it's really important uh, because now in these uh, cells and columns where there's the numbers we now have the actual numbers all right it's not formula anymore um, because before the numbers were just the surface representations of the formulas right basically the results of the formulas but now um, the formulas are gone so to say all right in the next step 
we're going to highlight everything and say sort according to column E but in decreasing order right why because now we have the ma uh, basically the um, number of words of each speaker so speaker 1 ordered 246 words speaker 2 ordered 35 words speaker 3 9 words and we've one utterance but we just don't know who said it right so um, right now we don't actually need this column here we'll delete it and what we can now do is we can also oh I should tell you I have uh, another um, uh, I prepared something else with the speaker information which basically contains the file name and here I have the speaker and the word count and I'll delete what the speaker said and now we just have the word count right um, and basically the speakers so now I go to cell 1a again then I'll go to Ansicht again and I'll end the macro alright now what I can do is basically I just copy this information so the speakers right and the word counts and I'll put it here here we have the speaker and the word counts and here I need to um, put another cell right so basically um, we now have the file, the speaker, and the word count, all right? But we don't want to do that only for one file, but for all the files in um, the cold corpus, right? So what we do is we uh, highlight everything, we delete it, we don't need it anymore, and I'll just copy the content of uh, the second file. Oh, sorry. Highlight and copy. I put it in there. Now I'll go to the first uh, cell again and press STRG O or Control O and then XL will execute the same commands in a row. Right? So now the only thing we need to do is copy that and right put it here since it's the second file, alright? Just to make it crystal clear. I'm going to do that for the third file as well. So I'm going to highlight everything, Control A, Control C, going back to the spreadsheet. Right, I'll delete everything. I'll go to the first uh, cell, and then again press Control O. And again, Excel will execute the commands that we've trained it with copy that and we'll just copy it into that uh, spreadsheet with speaker information all right so uh, this is basically a way that you can use macros to work more efficiently and handle many files with Excel right so that's it for this tutorial thank you very much and see you next time